Hi. Let's learn what it means to be house poor and how you can avoid it. House poor is a term used to describe a person who spends a large proportion of his or her total income on home ownership, including mortgage payments, property taxes, maintenance, and utilities. Individuals in this situation are short of cash for discretionary items and tend to have trouble meeting other financial obligations, such as vehicle payments. House poor is also referred to as house rich, cash poor. A house poor person can be considered anyone whose housing expenses account for an exorbitant percentage of their monthly budget. People can find themselves in this situation for a number of reasons. In some cases, a consumer may have underestimated their total costs. Alternatively, a change in income may be the reason that housing expenses have become overwhelming. Making payments toward the ownership of a real estate property can be a good investment in the long term. That said, it can also quickly turn sour if you run into money trouble and fail to account for the number of unexpected costs that often arise when taking on such a big commitment. While experts say consumers should plan to spend no more than 28% of their gross income on housing expenses, it is necessary to consider other debts you may have. When adding these expenses, experts say that the ratio should not exceed 36% of your gross monthly income. If an individual significantly exceeds the front-end or back-end DTIs, they may very likely qualify as house poor. In some cases, unexpected circumstances may occur that make housing payments difficult to manage. The loss of a job or having a child can completely change a household spending outlook leaving them house poor with difficulty making the mortgage payments. If this happens, consumers may need to look at a few different options, such as limiting discretionary expenses, taking on another job, dipping into savings, or even selling the property. You become house poor by buying a home you cannot afford, tying up all of your cash into a down payment, and income into mortgage payments. Additionally, increasing property taxes, rising interest rates, a drop in income, or job loss can also lead to becoming house poor. If you are worried about becoming house poor, or already find yourself in this situation, there are some options. You can look to boost your income through a side job or gig work, and look to cut costs elsewhere. Refinancing a mortgage may be an option, especially if interest rates have fallen. Moreover, you can pull some cash out of your home's equity to help with other expenses. Finally, while it is not always ideal, downsizing to a more affordable home or switching to a rental are other options. Most financial experts recommend that people contribute to an emergency savings fund to cover things like mortgage-slash-rent payments, other bills, and basic needs in the case of a job loss, health emergency, or other crisis. While there is no consensus on exactly how much to save in an emergency fund, many advocate for at least three to six months' worth of living expenses. Being house poor means spending a very large amount of monthly income on home ownership related expenses. In order to calculate mortgage affordability, some experts recommend spending no more than 28% of your gross monthly income on housing expenses and no more than 36% on total debts. If this is not possible, there are also other options to cover extra expenses such as getting a second job, using savings, or even selling the property. Here are three key takeaways. 1. A house poor person is anyone whose housing expenses account for an exorbitant percentage of their monthly budget. 2. Individuals in this situation are short of cash for discretionary items and tend to have trouble meeting other financial obligations, such as vehicle payments. 3. House poor individuals can consider limiting discretionary expenses, taking on another job, dipping into savings, selling assets, or downsizing in order to ease their financial difficulties. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.